cowards have their uses. Time to ask after this boss key. I find the boss. The boss? The boss is, uh, yeah! Boss is in uh, lab 422! Uh, are you, are you gonna let me go now? Vault Hunter had a feeling the coward was holding out. Pressed him a little harder. One more question. What are y'all working on in here anyway? We was working on making the devils even deadlier! Crafting guns under their domes and whatnot! I swear that's all I know! Ah, I'm out of here! Lab 422, the coward said. Carolina would be there. The vault hunter got a move on. Guess how well that turned out for the Devil Riders. Vault Hunter had a habit of breaking things that weren't meant to be broken. What's gonna stop now? Okay, listen up, but don't stop fighting. Whoever left cage 37 open, come see me if you're alive. They say there ain't nobody that can keep a vault hunter out that wants to get in. Reminder, lock the damn cages after you feed the Augment to devils! We shouldn't have to say this, people!
Boss Keen was getting desperate and sent out her elite squad of scientists for some damn reason. Get it over with. before I lose my patience. Also, I like your eyes. Whoa, hey, calm it down. There's clearly been a misunderstanding here. I am Carolina. What? Explain yourself, now. Look, my life back in Vestige was duller than a ten-year-old spoon, okay? I was going stir-crazy, and I guess, I just thought I could make a more exciting life for myself out here with the Devil Riders. Listen. Your husband, Gustav, is worried about you. He thinks you were kidnapped. Gustav! Oh, my dandy of a husband. He sent you to rescue me, huh? Interesting. Maybe he does care about more than mustache wax and silk ascots. But I got a good gig here. Did you see those devils with the guns? Ah, oh, shoot. I can't decide. Listen, I know I just met you, but can you help me decide the fate of my life? See, I knew you'd get it! Life out here? It's dangerous, but I'd rather die in a gun-toting devil-related accident than asleep in my bed next to my well-groomed husband. Maybe I can find a more reputable crew to run with. But I'm never going back to town. I know that much for sure. Tell Gustav, tell him to leave flowers on my grave. I'm afraid Carolina's dead. Here's her ring, to remember her by. What? No. I don't believe it. Let me see the ring. So she's really gone. I wish you could have met her. She had a spark of life like the brightest meteor. Burned out as fast as one too, it seems. Thank you for trying to save her. Now, I must set about the burial arrangements. I'm thinking lavender. Maybe it was better that he never knew.
Ask about our one-click buying plan. When your trigger goes click, it's time to buy. You will be back. They might look small, but they're actually just fun. That's how they met Slim. With his backside in the sand and beat half hollow, Vault Hunter decided to lend a hand, seeing as they were already in the neighborhood. <clears throat> Think I busted my dang coxie. <clears throat> about as steady as a snake with two rattles. I once trained our squad's pet cat to shoot, and he went on to earn the Vladoff Sash of Valor. I'll train you up. Heck, I'll do it if it means I can settle my score with Drunk William. And I know just the place to practice. Follow me! Slim's daddy, Lightning Luke, was something of a local legend. When Slim was born, he was a spitting image. Now he's all grown, except for the spine. Most everybody was tickled they could kick Luke's boy around. But if anyone's got dueling in the blood, it's Slim. Sometimes I sneak back here to enjoy my drinks in solitude and safety. There are some bottles lying about. Maybe you can show me some of that sharpshooting of yours? the old woofer. Go on. <clears throat> well, don't that beat all? You're a damn fine shot, friend. How'd you manage that? Years of training and hundreds of combat missions. We're pressed for time, though, so you just focus on aiming for the center of mass. Feeling fresher than a two mint julep. How'd I do? That was some of the worst shooting I've ever seen. If you were in my squad, we'd confiscate your hands, stuff them into pierogies, and feed them to the cat. Wow, that's the nicest thing anyone's ever said to me. But what if Drunk William. Me. Wish I had some armor. Slim wasn't about to cross iron to drunk William with nothing but stitches and sand to keep him standing. Vault Hunter knew they'd have to find some protection for him if they wanted him to grow the stones for a duel. to stop a dart, not a bullet. But the Vault Hunter didn't have time to be picky. Perfect! I'm gonna go get ready for the duel before I forget all the training! Boy, if my papa could see me now, my first duel! My fingers are all in fits of tilt. Turn him back now. I'll wait here while you go tell that no good low down.
young, lousy, lack-wit, drunk William that I'm a-calling him out to do. Drunk William liked to think he was the toughest mother's son this side of the sand. The type of fella who'd chew the fleas off a skag and ask for seconds. But someone needed to put him in his place. Which is to say, an unmarked <laughs> hole in the dirt. You should have seen the look on Slim's face. I just want to drink my sarsaparilla tea in peace, he says. Sure, I said. Drink up. Then I took his glass, drained it, and spat in his...
shots for your gunshots at Dr. Z's portable clinic. Looks like a clue. Wonder what tore into this can of beans. Some bean-hungry beasts were clearly on the prowl. The vault hunter followed the trail of lost legumes. Reba and Betty were famous, you know, and not just for their constant feuding, either. Back in town, they were known as the Bean Queen. Folks said you ain't never really tasted beans until you try them that come from the queen. These torn open cans of beans. Man, something went bean crazy in this forest.
another one. Someone or something is a very messy eater. The Vault Hunter ventured into the beast's lair, hoping to recover some of those precious beans. Yep, that's another one. Turns out them bean queens weren't the only bean fans in the forest. There were bean-hungry devils who weren't likely to hold them to surprise. Bad guy! There! There were a whole mess of them. Slaughter. Maybe them two girls didn't need to trade barbs after all. <laughs> oh boy. Only one can left. This is gonna be a problem for those ladies. The Vault Hunter was right about that. Hope they come back with them beans or you're done for, you hear me? And you bet. All right, that's enough. I'm gonna decide what happens to this, the last can of beans. You get me? Better you than her, I reckon. Choose wisely. Fine by me, as long as you make the right call. It was a tough call for the Vault Hunter, but an important decision. Probably the most important bean-centric decision they'd ever make. Oh, I'm gonna refry those little suckers till they don't know what's what. No! I'll bake them till they're good and baked! Yeah! Come on, stranger. You can't let old Bake Happy Bitty over here do that sacrilege on them beans. Ah! I knew you had the look of a clever one. Baked beans, here I come! Owen Reba, stuck a railroad spike! Now, bake, you beauties! Oh, I am not having this! I reckon it's time for us to throw down, stranger! Pull your puncher and get ready to get got! this fussing and fighting with you. You're my best friend, Reba. Let's not let beans come between us. And here, I saved you some. Oh, ain't you sweet. I'll even gag down these baked atrocities to bean them for you, so's we can be friends again. I'd like that. Thank you for helping us get back on track, stranger. Our kinship ain't never been more fierce, thanks to you. Now come on, 
him, Betty. Let's rest up. Then, after all these years, we're finally gonna do it. <gasps> you mean it? That's right. We'll head back to town and finally open up that restaurant we always talked about. I'm in, Reba. I'm so in. Huh. I guess beans really are the magical fruit. Who knew? Stands to figure that a crook like Doc Stanley would partner up with the Devil Riders. No doubt they were getting a cut of the take. Doc Stanley's been preying on sawed brain folk like my late husband for too long. Let's increase the pressure on that pumping wheel and cut off his supply.
satisfied with only blowing up some of those wells, so they did what came natural and set out to destroy the whole place. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. 
that do it? Again, you impress me, my dear gunslinger. Now that we've cut Doc Stanley's core supply, we gotta destroy his entire stock. Head to the refinery! Way I figured, if he's got no inventory, he can't prey on desperate idiots like my late husband. May the sand take his stupid soul. <sighs> Careful, bounty hunter. They're coming up on him. Switch done. He's a wily bastard. Quick, too. He got himself the fastest mount on the internet. Try to keep coming. Told you he was quick. He used to specialize in running down deserters from the gang. But everybody's gotta slow down sometime, and you stop that son of a bitch dead in his tracks. Pusher, you're carrying! I smell the brewing! Fresh targets over here! Leave to the leather's cold! Oh. Gonna kill you proper, man! Get him! 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 Get him!
elixir out of old company refinery equipment, but there was nothing refined about his operation. Now, let's take the fight to Doc Stanley by using his own damn elixir again him. Find some so we can get this explosive show started. You'll be back. When you need a dose of the red stuff, come find me.
shoot itself. This isn't working like I thought. Oh, come on, then. It just needs a bit of encouragement. Do what you do best. Light it up and watch it burn. Ain't seen that much fire and chaos since a bloodbath at Quinceanera Gulch. Hey, whoever you are, listen up. 
I never met a customer I couldn't buy off or reason with using money. Come on over and let's chat. Whatever your quarrel, friend, I got the cure. How's a lifetime supply of Doc Stanley's Miracle Elixir sound? Like it'd shorten my life dramatically. No thanks, you inbred mummer. That, that's the saying around here, right? Well, well. We got ourselves a negotiator. Okay. Okay. I've got just the thing for you. Here, catch! Suffering from shock and yeehaw? Try Doc Stanley's new and improved Miracle Elixir. If your flesh is a-sinking, better start drinking. distraught over Doc Stanley's demise, plenty of desperate folks out there looking for a miracle. At least now there's one less miracle hawker on Gehenna. But if I know one thing, it's that miracles don't come in bottles. Now, can I interest you in a sample of Doc Hena's miracle grenade?
Sorry, sight. The day Titus came to release Bella. Waterworks like you wouldn't believe. That boy's got a soft spot in him. Too soft for Gehenna, anyway. But I saw how he doted on her, and well, I can't say it wasn't endearing. As it turned out, Oletta wasn't all hard edges after all. Imagine that. Now, Bella's been a wild thing for a time now to say she even wants to return, but that's up to her. If she gets a whiff of Titus's scent, maybe it'll jog her memory. And I've got just the thing, a pair of Titus's trousers. The company may have ruined this planet, but at least I got a movie out of the deal. This here's a tour de force, a triumph. Why, you might even say it's my masterpiece. Once this beauty hits the silver screen and I get one of those shiny little statuettes, Everyone in the six galaxies is gonna say, Katsuhiro Jones, now that guy could make a movie. Return to my experiments. Don't ask. Oh, but I really want to. There are some mysteries we ain't meant to know. You need to draw Bella out of her lair. Get some prime devil meat as a lure. There are some feisty devils that dwell in the cave system up ahead. Magnificent specimens. Butcher them for some grade A devil steaks. 
careful, though. Some are radioactive as nuclear waste, and the others are coursing with electricity. Take your pick, because Bella ain't exactly picky. Bella was a rock when Tyler set her moves. I didn't think she'd last a day, but now she's made of herself a matriarch. Girl's got some fight in her, no question. We'll see how she reacts to you. No promise. Radioactive meat didn't look too appetizing to the Vault Hunter, but what did they know about the Bellic's diet? <coughs> the Vault Hunter knew what to do. It was time to draw Bella out of her lair. They laid out the bait, looking to lure out little Bella. But Bella weren't so itty-bitty no more. Vault Hunter watched, hoping this would work. And what do you know? She took the bait. Now Bella seemed friendly enough, but would she take to Titus's scent after all these years? Vault Hunter placed the pants on the ground. Titus's pants smelled like dreams deferred and a yearning for something lost. Also days old hotcakes for some reason. Looks like she missed Titus as much as he missed her. But the local Bellocks didn't take too kindly to their matriarch turning her back on them like that. There's someone back in town who misses you. You remember Titus, don't you? Wait, you have another pair of Titus's pants? This just keeps getting weirder. Hey, I said don't ask, didn't I? You ready to go, girl? Can that thing really understand you? Let's just say it's part of my charm. At any rate, I'm sure Titus will appreciate what you've done. I'll pick up the reward from Titus when I get into town. Here's your cut. Let's go, Bella. You haven't forgotten your way back to town, have you? Oh, come on, I'll show you. Huh. Uh. 